and then you can see from the uh, from this side. Uh, in, even in China, there is uh, various uh, pockets of civilization. For example, uh, this is the Hongshan the, the, the about uh, 4,500 before Christ, so 6,000 years ago. And this is this is the Yellow River. This is the Yellow River, and then this is Beijing. Okay, that is the Hongshan Wenhua, the civilization. And then, and you can see. Uh, there's some weird thing we normally don't see in modern China, and this is a little dragon. This is all jade, and then there's some weird figures, you know, and, and stuff like that. So it, it's weird to us, okay. And then also, something um, something This is this is the place, and then if you most of you see that this is very huge figure, big eyes holding an elephant trunk and then these things and then look at look at this these trees is all covered with very uh, thin pieces of gold that don't know where it's come from the, the civilization has to be high enough to uh, to create this okay and 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 that's what happened i'm showing you only a small portion of pockets of civilization in the mainland china but um about uh, 6500 years ago in uh, henan okay this this province there's also something being found uh, you see a skeleton a skeleton with a mosaic with a mosaic uh, on his left and this mosaic as you can see from the down there, you can see uh, and more mosaic over here. This is the Big Dipper, and this is the looks like a dragon. This looks like a tiger, and this is the the famous green dragon and the white tiger. And then, uh, but the, so 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 the, the that civilization. That means I'm showing you only three, and this particular civilization only exists. So we have a pocket, different pockets of civilization around 7,000 years ago. And all of a sudden, for whatever reason, around 5,000 years ago, all of them disappear. And then only one left, and this is the one. And this, this civilization has this, as I said, look at the star, there's a green dragon, the white tiger, the phoenix, and the Xuan Wu. And then they, they, they divided the sky into various kingdoms. And, then, and this is the, the, the one that we are having now. Okay, that's the one we are familiar with. So among all these different pockets of civilization, and only one left. Okay, and this, this civilization saying that that's the one that we have now. The Jade Emperor is the polar star facing the north. And then the king, the, the, the emperor on earth who's sitting here behind it is the emperor of the heaven. So uh, this is the forbidden city in Beijing, by the way. Okay, so uh, this is the history of China and also this is the history of the Chinese medicine. And I, I bet uh, you don't see any of this. <laughs> this is so small. And now we, we, in this 15, 20 minutes, we are talking about the beef history of Chinese medicine. You can see how brief it is, <laughs> okay. And uh, so, so actually, even the, if you forget about the prehistoric, everything that uh, uh, exist and and we know it exists because it's being documented so just by looking at this as you can see for some reason after 5,000 years ago all the pockets of civilization disappear and only one exists which is the one we are living and then the people who use chopsticks the people who believe in the yin and yang okay that civilization exists and until now as you can see if there's a civilization there is a medicine and the civilization has soon gone so long as you can imagine the medicine has been growing has been changing and the medicine is alive okay and of course all civilization has philosophy behind it so one scholar saying that if you go to United States nation today I want to study medicine that recognized by the whole world and then there's only two medicine the Western medicine 
say you get a degree in an MD degree in the United States, you can practice in the United Kingdom or, or Europe. And same thing, you get a TCM degree here, and you can actually practice in uh, Europe. Okay. Um, well, of course, you need to take the license exam, but they, they will honor the degree that you have, right? So you can see, if you go to the United Nations, there's uh, only two medicine exists in the world, uh, classically, I mean officially. And that will be the Chinese medicine and uh, Western medicine, the modern medicine, okay? So, um, so it is because there are some philosophy fusing the life of the medicine. As you can see, for 4,000 years over here, and uh, the, the Chinese medicine has been changing as if alive, okay? So um, the legendary, we have three kings, and then the Fuxi, the Fuxi actually uh, draw the Bagua, which is the yin and the yang, and then we have another king, which is the Shenlong. Shenlong is helping us how to grow, that's why we have herbs now. And then also the Wang Di, the Yellow Emperor. So the Yellow Emperor is a uh, 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 consider contribution is how, how our Chinese writing, the silk. Okay, the silk row, the silk is the first came from Yellow Emperor, and of course our medicine, Wang Di Neijing. This is the first book honor him as the as the as a legendary king. So um, here uh, now. We are mo move away from the legendary king to a real historic moment. And this is the, uh, how can I say, this is the Sha, uh, we have the Sha dynasty 2000 years before Christ. And then the Shang dynasty, and then, and then the Shang dynasty, and the Zhou dynasty, which is the warrior state as well. So, uh, and you can see, take a quick look about the Sha, the Sha dynasty. Okay, that is 2000 year BC. And then take a look at the uh, Shang Dynasty, which is a, a thousand year past, 1600 BC. And if you look at the technology, compared with the Sanxing Day that we just saw, the, the big trees and the, the big eye, the mask, there's no comparison. For, for, for whatever reason, that 7,000 years of our technology is better than 1,000 years before Christ technologies. And of course, and the oracles, they heard about oracles, and then the, our, our Chinese language coming from there, okay? And then this is, this is where uh, we, we all are about. And then even at that time, there are a documentation about disease, you know, recording disease and different kinds of uh, uh, remedy as well in the, in the uh, scapular bones and, and the tortoise shells. And then now down to the Zhou Dynasty, which is the warrior state. And as you may know, when we have a war, we have civilization. We destroy the civilization. At the same time, it has a civilization because they were trading. This was a different state in the China, very various state in the China. So they do trading just like today, but they fight to each other as well, just like today. And this is the nine needles. This is a needle already exists in the Zhou Dynasty. Okay, and then uh, they are they are using the um, they are using uh, bronze. <laughs> they are using bronze, not like today. Okay, uh, and and you can see by that time the needle has various shapes. That means they study, they think, they apply to various situations. And also the Zhou Dynasty. Oh, we passed through this. And then I want to tell you in the Zhou Dynasty, which is uh, 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 um, about uh, almost 700 years before Christ, the doctors were divided into four departments. The highest one is dietetic. That means food and medicine. Okay. And then the medicine recorded showing a system that using a chef as a doctor to administrate and evaluate the other doctor. Okay, and then also in the Zhou dynasties, that means 700 BC, dietetic physician was e evaluated as the highest position, and dietetic therapy is a huge impact of the following generation, even today. Food as medicine has been talking about that 700 BC. Okay, 
and then uh, of course uh, food as a medicine and they use wine and then today's the Chinese word medicine yi medicine yi is like that written like this and it's coming from a drawing patterns like this so there's a cabinet a cabinet have a sharp things and then this is a hand the hand holding the tool that means the skill of a doctor and the skill of a doctor taking something in a cabin a cabinet uh, and then we should have something sharp and probably is the needles and then this is a wine so wine is also a a, a, a method of um, uh, of medicine and also um, then it came a very 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 famous legendary doctor Bian Chu and Bian Chu give us many things one is the pulse sticking and the other one is a diagnosis I look at you from your face the color of your face from the ears from the eyes I know what happens to your interior uh, organs okay this is specially called Chang Jiang Shuo Shuo okay and as, a, 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 as, as you look outside you know inside and I take your pulse which is outside and I know the inside and then also uh, well and also tell, telling us that all the disease has stages we call patho uh, uh, pathology all disease has a uh, stages from the skin to the muscle to the organ and to the bone and to the bone will be the deepest very hard to very hard to to take care of and also at that time we are talking about 500 BC we are already we were already think that needles and and herbal medicines should be applied at the same time and also the insurance as a brother and also telling us that uh, we need to treat disease before it happened okay before it happens so that was 500 BCs and then uh, around the Han Dynasty which is a uh, hundred uh, year hundred year before Christ and we have the Wang Ding Neijing Wang Ding Neijing is today's oldest existing Chinese medicine book uh, and we're still studying it now if it were a knowledge if Wang Ding Neijing consists a knowledge it should be thrown away why do we study it right for after the 2000 of 2000 years because this is not about knowledge if it were knowledge it should be thrown away it is about wisdom about wisdom of our body about the wisdom of the medicine so that's why even today in a doctoral degree we still study it and and then in the Wang Ding Neijing you talk about the yin and yang it's talk about the Tai Chi it's talk about the Chinese medicine called Qi okay and then also the Trinity you see our body is a Trinity Trinity it means uh, 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 three right and then one two and three is a big one and then one two and three one two and three and if you look at my finger one two and three so our body is a Trinity okay so that's why Trinity happens all across civilization not just the Chinese civilization so um, <clears throat> so so this uh, book Wang Di Neijing give us the wisdom rather than knowledge of the medicine and of our body and of the heaven and earth from that we treat we look at our patient as a whole not just a cell okay so um, that is one thing and then later on very short short period is uh, 150 AD <coughs> then there is a another famous doctor create a very famous book Xiang Han Lun which is we still studying to now today <laughs> okay the nice thing about this book is the why it give us the pathology pathology of any of a disease and then divided our body into a defense system of the external pathogen so this is all this is also a model helping us to treat disease coming from outside or even from inside and then about the same time this is 214 AD about the same time another famous doctor collect all the stuff that he knew about the Wang Ding Neijing and all the old books that he, that he, he had and write a book and, and this book is called the systematic classic of acupuncture and Mark, Mark Sebastian so this book 
as, as this book you can see uh, kind of complete uh, is the foundation of acupuncture today. Okay, so uh, we have the theory, Wang Di Nei we have the theory about the yin and the yang and the qi and all our psychology. And then we have, uh, we have the herbal medicine and we have acupuncture right around that time. Okay, right around that time. Okay, and then later on, we found that in this stage, slightly after the, uh, uh, the, 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 the West Han Dynasty, the East Han Dynasty, and then we discover in 1974, there is a Ma Wang Dei, is a tomb, a tomb lying in the lady, and the lady was like this, it's a corpse, but it looks ugly, but when she was first discovered before oxidized, her flesh is still uh, elastic, as if she just died hours ago, hours ago. And it looks horrible here, but she was actually pretty decent when she first discovered. But she was 2,000 years old. Her corpse is too up. It was kept very nicely. And they bi uh, do a biopsy, and they found watermelon seed in her stomach. You can grow watermelon from that, 2000. So they, so they know why she died, what happened. She has all the disease that we are modern people have. She has diabetic. <laughs> she has a gallbladder stone. <laughs> okay. Just like, and, and she died at a heart attack after eating. So, um, and then, but then, but in the library that we saw, there's a lot of stuff there. Ma Wang Dei, if you type YouTube, I encourage you to do that. Type Ma Wang Dei tomb, there's a lot of YouTubes, and you can see this very, very, very uh, interesting tomb, and all the libraries, all the stuff that inside is beautiful. And um, f they found one thing, which is typed in the silk, silk and these all these people are dancing but they are not dancing they are doing something called Daoyuan Daoyuan what is Daoyuan? Daoyuan is exercise plus Qigong you heard about Qigong right? Qigong is breathing with cultivation whenever you see the Chinese word Gong okay it means cultivation you work hard and cultivate something and then Qigong it means you work and cultivate as well so from here, you see uh, a very short period of time right at the Han Dynasty, starting from 5,000 years from the stars, from the uh, yin and the yang. And now that's why we call Chinese, China, our university, university Five Branches University, because if you draw a cross like this, a, qu a quadrant, we call it quadrant, right? In the modern day, we call it quadrant. If you draw a quadrant like this, and then you can see up there, if you are sick, and hit down here, you are healthy. And then, oops. And then on the left is formless, and the right is form, okay? Formless like chi, okay? Like, and then you can see, if you are sick, and you use a methodology which is formless, then you use acupuncture. Acupuncture moves your chi. At the end of the day, we take all the needles out. <laughs> okay, nothing given to you. We take all the needles out. So it's actually, when you are sick, and we use a formless modality, we use acupuncture. And when you are sick, when we use a form modality, it's a herbal tea, herbal tea. That means you drink herbal tea. And then if you are not sick, you are healthy. If you are healthy, then you need to treat the disease before it happens. And then we have dietetic. That means uh, medicine, the food for medicine, food as a medicine. And if you are healthy and using formless qi, okay, then it will be Daoyan. Daoyan is the one that's moving, right? That, 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 in the Ma Wang Day is the one that's moving. Today, we have Tai Chi, we have eight bouquets, Ba, ba Duin Gam, okay? We have all this type of uh, moving exercise, you know, and then breathing exercise for take, make our, make our uh, uh, body healthy, okay? Last but not least, yeah, so, something in between. That means you can do it form and formless and then healthy 
and, and sick, okay, you can still do it, is the Toi Na. Toi Na is like a massage, but it's better than massage because massage happens long, long time ago before, <laughs> before any civilization, I believe. If you look at monkeys, they pick people's <laughs> back. <laughs> so massage ha it happens. But Toi Na is slightly different. Toi Na is a massage through the meridian, not the muscle. Okay, not the muscle. Uh, massages for all, along the muscle. So that is five, five branches. And that's why we call ourselves Five Branches University. By that time in the Han Dynasty, very early Han Dynasty, five majority already exists. And uh, let me tell you this, this is the, 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 the five uh, uh, culture, the culture of five. We have five star, five elements, five tone, do, re, mi, so, la, okay. We have a five taste, everything is five. And Chinese medicine also is five. One, thing, one less is not the Chinese medicine. Has to be together, just like five fingers. Okay, it has to be five in order to be complete. If you just use one, you're just using one of the five. It's not the Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine is all five. Just like the five elements, wood, fire, water, uh, 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 metal, okay. These are five elements, okay, and, and they have to be together to form the world. Okay? Yeah. So I think my time is up. And then um, we, is it, right? Okay. So um, any questions? Yes? Uh, what is Taoin? Does that include uh, Qi Dao? Yeah, uh, sorry. Taoin is, is, yes, you're right. So it's so old. It's so old that it is in the Ma Wong Dui. Uh, but today it has been developed for thousands of years. We have Tai Chi, we have Qi Gong. But Dao Yin by itself, it means exercise, exercise means physical movement with Qi Gong. That's what Dao Yin means. Okay? Yes? Dao uh, Yin uh, Let me write it down, maybe it's easier. Dao Yin. Ah. Questions? No? Well, I'm sure um, uh, our classmates, our students can answer your questions <laughs> if you have some, if you have one. But I hope you enjoy the day, the rest of the day here. And uh, yeah, okay. All right. Thank you.